Hi everyone. So in this video, we will try to place our orders in a live market. So this is how the Fires dashboard looks like. So let's take Hathaway stock. We will try to place different types of order on Hathaway. So first, let me show you how you can do it manually. Okay. So to buy the stock, you have to click on this blue button. If I click on it, something like this will appear. Now let's say we want to do a market order. Okay. So I just have to click on buy at market price and I have to click on buy one quantity. So this is going to uh, place the order. See, now since this is a market order, it was placed in instantly and my order is filled and I can see the position. I can see this Hathaway stock in my position. Okay, I have one stock in my position right now. And in order, if you see, there is no open orders right now. Okay, so let me try to do the same thing by using Algo also. So I'll go to my VS code. So first I've got the access token. Now this is how the code looks like. So this code I have copied it from the buyer's documentation. So from here I've copied the code. So let me explain you one by one what are the different things. So you have to make this dictionary that is data. And you have to pass this data into fires dot place order. So this is how you have to place the order. Now there are different key value pairs in this data dictionary. Let's understand them one by one. First is symbol. So you have to specify what stock you want to buy. So we want to buy hardware. So I've written hardware. Then quantity. You know, I have to write one to how many stocks you want that you have to specify here. Then type. Let's try to understand this type. So if you go to documentation, they have written here. These are all the four different types. First is if you write one, it's a limit order. If you write two, it's a market order. So we want to place a market order. So we are going to write two here. So I've written two. Then side. Side is if you write one, it's buy. If you write minus one, it is sell. So here I've written one to buy the stock. Then there is product type. So if you see, there are different type of product type. So we want to do intraday. So we have written intraday here. Now, the rest of the arguments are not necessary for a market order. So these other uh, key value pair we will try to understand in few minutes but for market order these are all the things we need these are all the important things rest of the things are important for other types of order so now let's run the code and see if it works or not so if i run the code it is saying order successfully uh, submitted and this is my reference number and this is my id okay so remember that if you want to do anything with your order you need the id okay so if i go to my dashboard again you'll see right now two orders were placed both of them are filled and i have Two in my position, two Hathaway stock in my position. Okay, so this is how you place a market order. Now let's try to place a limit order. So the same code I've copied. Okay, what I have to change? I have to change the type. If you go to documentation again, you'll see if you want to have a limit order, you have to write type should be equal to one. So I've written here type equal to one. So product is intraday. Now for limit price, we have to specify this limit price. Okay, so this key value pair should be should be having some value whenever you're having a limit price. So right now, what is the price of this Hathaway stock? So right now the price is 19. Okay. Now when it comes to buying a stock, so if you remember that whenever we are placing a limit order, the price should be below the market. Okay. If I write a price above the market, it will be filled instantly. So let's try both of them. So what I'll do right now, uh, the price is 19. So I'll try to place at 20. Okay, so if I if my logic is correct, this will be filled instantly. Okay, so let's see. See, right now I have two orders here and two in my position. So if I run the code, I should be having the third one. So if I go here, you can see it is showing me order. Okay, so I have placed a sell order. Okay, you can see here I have written minus one. So that is correct. You know, you're if you're selling a stock at a limit price, then it should be above the market. Okay, so if it was buy, so let's change this to one. And if I run the code again, it will be filled instantly. So if I go here, see the stock was instantly filled. And if I go to my position, I have three stock. Okay. Now, what should be the price if I if I want to buy the stock? It should always be below the market price. So right now the market price is 19. So I have to write any number below 19. So let's write 18. Okay. Now if I run this code, this won't be filled instantly. Okay. This is going to take a uh, few minutes, you know, until the stock reaches at that price. Till then, you know, it is not going to get filled. So let's run the code and see. So if I go to my dashboard, if I go to my order, I have two open order. So this is the order that I placed just now, this limit order at this a this price. Okay, so this is how you place a limit order. Now let's, so we have already placed a market order. Let me place it one more time. So I'll just write here minus one. Okay, so this is what, this is sell. Now, if you remember, if you want to sell the stock, it should always be, above the market price 
okay and if you are selling below the market price it will be sold instantly so let's have a price which is below the market price that is 18 so if my logic is correct the moment i run this code uh, my stock will be sold and right now i have uh, three positions three stocks in my quantity so it will uh, come back to two okay so let's see if it works or not so i'll run the code and if i go here you, you can see i have two here why two because i sold one stock now if i go to my orders you will be able to see all of them so see here they have option so two of them are working okay four are filled okay these are all the four that i have placed just now and two are still working okay both of them were limit order because uh, one is buy which should which is below the market price and one is sell which is above the market price so this is how you know you have to do everything that is you have to uh, write a price which is acceptable by the broker Okay, so these are all the rules that you should remember. Now let's move to the next type of order that is stop order. Now if I go to documentation again, so if you want to have a stop order, you need to have type equal to three. Okay, so here I have changed type equal to three. Now let's say I want to buy the stock. So if you remember, whenever we are have we are talking about the stop order, and if you want to buy the stock, it should always be above the market price. Okay, so right now stock price is nineteen. So if I write fifteen, okay, so this won't be placed instantly. Okay, because this is below the market price. So let's try it. So see here, limit price is zero, and I have to specify the stop price, which is fifteen. So let's run the code. If I run the code, you'll see that it was filled instantly. Okay, if I go to my position again, it has my quantity has become three. Okay, this is how you place a stop order, and if you place a stop order below the market price, it will be filled instantly. So if I specify a price above the market price, let's say you know I want to have I want to have a stop price at twenty one. Now this won't be filled instantly. Okay, so if I run the code and if I go back, you see now I have three order, two of them are limit and one is stop order. Okay, so this is how you place a stop order. So let's stay uh, place a sell also. So I'll change this to minus one, and for selling it should be below the market price. So let's have eighteen. So if I run the code, okay, change this to eighteen and run the code again. It was placed. Now I have four open order. One is buy. One is sell, okay. Both of them are stop, and these both are limit order. Now the speciality of open orders are, you know, you can cancel them. So from here also I can cancel them manually, and I via code also I can cancel them manually. So we will look into that in few minutes, or let's let's try to cancel it. So see, let's say you know I want to cancel this order, okay. So I know that the ID is this. So you have to copy the ID, okay, and uh, you have to copy the code. That is to cancel the order. So this is the code to cancel the order. Okay. First thing is we need the order ID. So I'll just write here the order ID, and you have to make a dictionary ID colon order ID, and you have to just write fires dot cancel order. Now the moment I run this code, my stop order will be cancelled. Okay. So let's see if it works or not. If I run the code, you see it was successfully cancelled. Now I have three orders here. I can manually cancel it too. Okay. Let's say I want to cancel this, so I can cancel it from here also. So this is how you can cancel any order that are open right now. So this is this are this is all about market order, limit order, and stop order. Let's understand one advance order that is cover order. Now, if you remember, when we are talking about cover order, we have to specify the stop loss. Okay, so this is one thing that you have to uh, write that is stop loss. So right now, let's say what the stop, what the price of the uh, Hathi stock is nineteen. Now there is one more thing that is if this uh, cover order is not applicable for all the instrument okay so if i try to place a cover order on hathaway stock it might not work so let's take some other stock so let's take ongc okay so right now ongc uh, is 148 and the stop or the this uh, cover order will work on this ongc stock so let's try to place a cover order on ongc now let me show you manually how to do it so let's say if i want to place manually first i'll click here i'll click on this cover order okay and i have to specify My stop loss. So right now it is one forty eight. Let's have a stop loss at one forty seven. Or let's have it one forty five. That would be better. So if I click on buy one quantity, you'll see that I have one position of ONGC and I have one open order. That is my stop loss order. Okay, this will be triggered the moment the stock price reaches at this point. So this is how you place a stop order on manually. Okay, let's try to do the same thing via programming so what are the things i need to change first is i need to specify here cover order okay here product type should be cover order so i have changed this to cover order and type what should be the type now type you can have anything so i am having two as a market order because i want to place 
my first order as a market order you see this order was filled instantly right why because this was a market order and the next order was what the next order was a stop order so that's what i want to do so here if i want to do market order i have to write two so here i have, I have changed this to two okay this is one thing you have to change and finally you have to specify the stop price so let's have a stop price at 132 okay or we can have uh yeah we can have a stop price so let's see if this works or not so i'll run the code so it is saying uh okay so it it is showing some error it is saying that you cannot have a trigger price less than 140 okay so i have to write a number which is greater than 140 so let's have you know 143 so this should work so if i run the code you'll see it is saying order submitted successfully so if i go back and if i see here in my ongc i have two quantity and if i go to my orders i will be having two stop orders both of them are cover orders so this is how you can place a stop order now the last and final type of order is bracket order but for some reason bracket order is not working okay so let me show you so logically speaking how do we have to place a bracket order i'll explain you so let's take another stock let's take hindalgo so hindalgo is 460 right now so if i want to place a bracket order i'll click here then i'll click on bracket order and i have to specify a stop loss right now it is 460 so let's have uh 455 and the take profit let's have 465 465 so this is how you place a, a bracket order manually so if i click on buy one quantity and if i go to position i have pathway here uh, not pathway hindalgo here and if i go to my orders i will be having two hindalgo open sell sell orders okay so this is how you place a bracket order uh, by manually so let's try to do the same thing via programming so here i have written hindalgo quantity is one type is one so see type i can have market also and limit also so let's try limit order okay so i am having type one so if i am writing type one i have to specify the limit price so what is the price right now price of the stock is 460 so let's have 460 so here i'll change this to 460 and uh, stop price what is the stop price i don't have to specify stop price because the type is one then i have to specify the stop loss and take profit okay so let's see so right now it is 460 so the take profit can be 463 so let's change this to 463 take profit is 463 and stop loss can be 457 okay so this is how it should be but if i run the code you'll see it is throwing an error okay so the error is this uh, trigger gap range is something so this is what the error is i was not able to solve it so you can try it and you can let me know you know if it works for you so these, these are all the different types of order and this is how you place the order manually and by using python okay now there is one more thing that we should look into that is modify the order so this is the code for modifying an order now always remember that whenever it comes to modifying an order you can only modify an order which is not filled so if i go here so these are all all the order you know working order these are all the orders that i can modify okay if it is already filled i cannot modify okay so let's take any order so let me just scroll up a little so if i go here so these are all the order id okay so let's take this pathway okay so i need the order id so let me just copy this order id so let's copy this and i'll have this order id here like this i got the order id now see right now the limit price is 20 okay so what i'll do i'll change the limit price to instead of 20 let's have 21 okay and i'll just run the code so right now just look at this order right now it is 20 right now if i run the code it should become 21 so let's give it a try if i run the code if i look here now you can see it is 21 right now so this is how you know you can have a trailing stop loss too okay you can edit you can modify the code since it is still open you can modify the code by using the modify order function so this is how you know you can modify the order so i hope you guys have understood so in case if you have any doubt you can let me know all right so before we end the session there are three more functions that you should know one is trade book one is position and one is order book all three of them gives you different type of output so let's understand position first so whenever you run this position function it is going to give you list of all the uh, all the stocks that you have in your position right now. so you can see i have three stocks in my position okay so if i run the code if i run this position it should give me three stocks so these are all the three stocks you can see everything i'm getting like what is the profit you know average per price quantity so this is one quantity 
okay what is the stock name stock name is hindalco then this ongc how many stocks i have i have two stock for ongc so by using this position function you can get to know what are all the stocks you have in your position right now then the next important function is trade book so trade book give you a list of all the trades okay what are trades trades are all the orders that were filled so these are all the filled orders so you can see these are all the orders that i have played that were registered by the exchange okay this is how you can get a list of all the trades okay then finally the last and the most important one is the order book so order book gives you list of all the orders okay whether it be open whether it be 